It's me, Sharmila Siraja. My student ID is 2022840. I'm following basic computer science at Safiya Arjuna University of Bedfordshire. This is my CIS 007 project 2021. This project is providing tours of college feedback system to the students. Uh, the system is based on the remote method invocation API. It's allow the client and server to communicate each other. So basically, this system need to satisfy event-driven programming, virtual identity, object-oriented, and interoperability. Let's see our project and justify how to satisfy these things. Uh, when come to the project here i'm providing a meaningful packages for cl every class so when come to the server side or rmi interface is providing a unique uh, package so uh, here uh, the server user interface under the computer server ui and rmi interface under the computer rmi interface package uh, same thing uh, here i use some icons and images these things are under the computer gui dot image package so back to the libraries when i come to the libraries here i am using mysql connector mysql connector using for connect database and my java project so some I, additionally i am using external plugin something called free tts this is to what, uh, convert text to voice uh, we need to run the server first so run server server is under the com dot server ui package so run server this is a server interface when come to the server interface here i have a button something called start button when i press the start button server will start it so here one for event trigger when i press this button so this is a one of the event driven programming so not only this one there are so many event driven trigger programming something called a timeout event or mouse click event here i am using a button click event when come to the code part of the server side here, sure, it's a one of the event action. So here I am starting to create an object for the registry and server. Before I uh, creating a uh, object for the registry and server, I need to import that packages here. So I import that package top of my coding. So I import it. Then I am creating the object for this. Again, I am connect with the RMI interface because it's an RMI based project. We need to communicate client and server. So this is a one of the action events. So back to the server side. When come to the server side, here I am providing something date and time. When come to the date and time, when I move the, my mouse point in here, it display the current date and time. So this is a one of the mouse move event. So come to the code part. When I come to the here, it's providing a mouse point. Uh, event so here mouse motions is a mouse move event so in this case i am using a external web api something called world time api so i am using a world time api here to uh, generate the date and time so when i come to the code part i take this url and as in my current asia city and uh, city again it's generate the time and date which students are completed or which students are taken the uh, this feedback system uh, it's display on this uh, table so when i re click this refresh table it's uh, check the database and show which students are complete their feedback so this data also coming from our database let's start our uh, client side so client side is under the computer client ui so just run our client side so this is my client side user interface when come to the client side here i am providing some login so students id and password another button uh, some button is a help button when i press this help button it's providing some voice instruction to students so let's press this button please log in your account using your student id it is starting with sf and type your password which is given by your academy to the code part of this help button let's go to the help button event so this is one of the event action i already told you here i am using a text to a uh, voice assistant so here i am using an external plugin something called free tds so here i am creating object for the voice and voice manager before i create object i insert this classes so i insert this classes class this classes is under the this free tds so when come to the, this free TTS library here, I'm providing a voice class and voice manager class. Then I'm creating a object for that uh, classes. Then I'm using that method. So I get voice method and I allocate the method and speak method are allocated in here. This is all here also I'm using object oriented concept. 
So here I need to log in student ID and password. So when come to the student ID and password here, I am providing a unique student's ID and password for each student. When I come to the database, I am using a remote mysql.com to the database connection. This website providing a free free database service. So it's my database and here I have the tables. When I come to the tables, it's providing a unique student ID and password for the each students. This is a one of the virtual identity. There are so many virtual identity in surrounding. So for example, you can use IP address or when you, you can use a cookies as a virtual identity. But here I am using a combine of student ID and password. So student ID is the unique uh, identity for each student and combine of the user uh, student ID and password is a virtual identity. Let's back to the server here. So here you can simply say this is login button. Here also one of the action is happen when I press this login. Here creating for the RMI, uh, RMI and again I am calling the sign in. So sign in is under the uh, server side. So when I come to the server side here I have the sign in uh, method. When I come to here I am connect my database connection. Here this is my database connection. So my database name and password are here. Then I uh, create the query for that function. Again I log in my student ID and password. So let's log in my student ID and password here. So let's log in. So student ID is SF006 password. So login. This is my questions. Uh, so this questions are coming from when I come to the code board. These questions are under the class package question class. So these questions are display this label. So here I am using object oriented. So ob object oriented here. When I use this uh, classes, I am going to create an object for this question class under the client user interface. When I come to the top of it. Here I am creating a question class. Before I creating an object, I need to import that packages here. So I import my packages. So here I import that package. Again, I create the object and I simply use that method or uh, constructor here. So here I have the constructor questions and uh, get question as a method. So when I come to here, I can create a constructor. Uh, so again, I use that method here. So then I can display this question on this particular area just I uh, give the feedback for questions so when we uh, when I complete this feedback then only the submit button will uh, active otherwise is uh, disable mode let's complete our feedback so just I press submit button it shows some alert this is also one of the event trigger so it's a show this feedback it's ended it's I'm back to the my uh, server side when come to the server side just refresh my table so refresh table it's display sf006 is complete take on the uh, status so it's complete so let's come to the analyze button here analyze button providing a uh, analyze here I am analyze question by question when I come to the question one it's display we how many students are give the feedback and what is the feedback level so here x-axis is a uh, charge and y-axis is the numbers of students here only one student is give the uh, two star for this question so same thing is happen every here I am using a quick chart so this is a one of the uh, web API quick chart here this is my uh, web API so when come to this here I uh, get results from my uh, feedback here you can simply see I have some results in here so just I take this results and combine some uh, method and I uh, get results something like this chart so sorry this chart so when I come to this code part uh, when come to the code part here I am using this URL to send my uh, data from this uh, this uh, project to this API so this x axis is I already told you this points and y axis is uh, based on the uh, uh, numbers of students so after this here my all the data so I send my all the data from this URL and here I send my data so this is my data and I will send it as a JSON format then I will generate that chart so there are not only the quick chart API, I have the uh, world time API or time API. This time API is a need the pay and some API are the free. So here IP5 API and IP, IP API.com. So whether APIs, there are so many uh, API, web APIs are provided. But when I uh, think about the event driven programming, I am using a button event. So button click event function and mouse move event. So this satisfy the event driven programming. When, when come to the virtual identity, I am providing a student ID and password as a virtual ID. 
right and it and come to the object oriented here i am using a voice manager a free a extra plugin object and i'm creating a question area object so this object oriented concept also satisfied next interoperability here i'm using a external api something called a quick chart api and all time api so it's also satisfied so totally my project is satisfied these all things and thank you so much